Hydro generation is the leading source of renewable energy in the United States. At Alabama Power, our 14 hydro generation facilities are able to power more than 700,000 homes and provide about 6% of our company's annual power generation. These power plants are located across the state on the Black Warrior, Coosa, and Tallapoosa River systems and are fueled by water stored in the more than 157,000 acres of lakes behind their dams. To convert this abundance of stored water into electricity, energy created by the movement of falling water is harnessed by large generators. Stored water, called headwater, is moved down through the dam using a large pipe called a penstock. This flow turns a propeller-like turbine, which in turn converts the water's energy into electricity by spinning large electric magnets inside the generating unit. After the falling water passes through the turbine, it is again returned to the river through a draft tube. Electricity produced by our dams is only a small portion of our overall generation, but these hydro units serve an important role by maintaining our service reliability. Because our hydro plants can begin generating almost as soon as water begins passing through the turbine, our dams can provide crucial, almost immediate support during peak customer use, such as hot summer days and cold winter mornings. Along with creating clean, renewable energy, Alabama Power dams and reservoirs also are an important tool in controlling the state's sometimes unpredictable rainfall through water storage and downstream releases. Not only are our hydropower projects important for bulk power system operations, uh, but they're also important to help us manage flows from Alabama's rainfalls, which at times can be variable uh, and also unpredictable. For instance, in the late fall into the winter time, we reduce our lake levels uh, down to winter pool elevations and create a space which allows us to store the, the normally heavier winter and spring rains uh, upstream, release less downstream, which uh, leads to less flood potential downstream. Also because of our uh, geographic position relative to the Gulf of Mexico, our projects are uh, at times influenced by uh, Atlantic-born tropical storms and hurricanes. Uh, and so in those times when the flows increase, that requires some special attention as well. From a drought mitigation perspective, uh, during the springtime we raise the lake levels from winter pool to summer pool elevation. And our summers here are normally drier uh, from a rainfall perspective and so at times there's not enough flow to allow us to meet downstream needs as well as uh, keeping the reservoirs full. So the volume between the normal winter pool and the summer pool acts as a, a resource that will allow us to continue to meet downstream needs uh, such as protection of threatened and endangered species, navigation, as well as uh, municipal and industrial uses. Hydropower is currently the largest renewable energy source uh, in the United States. It's clean, um, it's, we create energy by flowing water basically. Uh, there's actually two things that impact the ability to create energy at a dam, and that is head and flow. A head is the difference in the lake level behind the dam and the level in the water below the dam. And so those two components determine how much power can be created at a dam.